In the interest of completeness, I'm going to show you the overlay command in drawing mode, but I'll just be upfront. You're not going to find this useful. As a matter of fact, this hasn't been taught in the standard PTC classes since Pro Engineer 2001, and we didn't have an exercise for the class back then. Let me tell you why you would want to use this command if you wanted to. You probably don't. But anyhow, here I have a drawing open, and you can see that it has a few views on here. Let me switch over to another window with a different drawing that looks very similar to this one. So what are the differences between these two drawings? Well, I'll give you a few different hints. This one has two sheets. I've moved some of the details around. There's a note that was in the middle of this view that I moved to the side, and I took off a couple of different symbols. How would you find out what the difference is between these two different drawings are? Back in the old days, what we used to do is print out the drawings and then you would hold them up to the light and try to see through the different sheets what was different between one and the other. That is the idea behind the overlay. And so before I show you how to do this, I'm gonna close the other window just because if I have both windows open at the same time, then it's gonna cause some issues when I actually create the overlay. By the way, this command has not been updated in over 20 years. So let's see how to create an overlay. I will go to the Insert Overflow menu and then choose Overlay. And since this has not been updated, it uses the old Menu Manager interface. Here we have the option to add an overlay and you can either place views or place an entire sheet. I'll show you later on how to place views. Here I will choose Place Sheet and then it opens up the open dialog box where you can choose which drawing that you want to overlay. It's gonna be this one. I will choose the open button. And then it asks you, enter the sheet number to overlay and click on the question mark or accept the question mark to see it in a separate window. And I'll be honest, if you just hit the check mark or hit the enter key, it's a little clunky how you choose which sheet you wanna use. I'm going to say that I want to overlay sheet one and then hit the enter button. And now it overlaid the drawing on this one. And I hope you are looking very closely because it just threw it on top of the other one. You can see that there are a few differences. So for example, we can see how these two annotations are the same, but in different places. And we've got this note here, which is the same as this note over there. We've got a couple of dimensions that look differently, but Honestly, it's just really hard to tell what is the difference between the sheet from one drawing and the sheet from the other drawing. What would be really nice is, is if you could make the overlay a different color than the original drawing, but you can't do that. So again, it's very difficult. Let me hit the done return button. If you go to your drawing tree, on the layout tab, you can see if you have an overlay in here, we say, see that, yes, there is overlay one. So that's about all that the overlay does. Let's say that you want to get rid of it. You can go to the insert dropdown menu and then choose overlay. And let's delete the overlay. And you can do a selection or you can choose all overlays. Do you really want to do that? Yes. This is another opportunity where you can look to see, hey, what changes when I hit the yes button? And you can sort of tell some of the differences between the two drawings. Let me show you one of the other use cases that was pushed for using overlays. The idea was that you could make a master drawing. So I'm gonna to choose to create a brand new drawing, file new, choose the drawing radio button, and I'm not going to use a default template. And I'm actually going to delete the name of the part under default model. So I end up with a completely empty drawing. Let's do landscape. Maybe I'm gonna even use a different size entirely. Let's use a D size drawing and then click the okay button. So here I have a completely empty drawing. Then you can throw in overlays of individual views. So for example, I could go to insert overlay and then add overlay, let's place views, and then I can go to one of my drawings. I'll just choose the first one over there, 
and then it brings up the drawing in its own separate window. We're prompted to select views to be added as overlays. I will click on this big view here and then click the OK button. You can use the control key to select multiple views. And then it says to select a free point on the drawing or if you use the middle mouse button, it will use the origin of this drawing view, which by default is the geometric middle of the view. I'm just going to middle mouse button. And then it says, it actually doesn't say anything, but what you're supposed to do at this point is click where you want it to appear on the screen. Let me click there. And it ended up in there. And you'll notice that some of the details are even messed up in here. What where the heck is this one actually supposed to be attached to? So at this point, I could move the overlay and then select the overlay and then select the view that I want to move. And then you can do a from to, so I can click here and then say, hey, let's move it about over there. And it moved it. Oh, it looks like it fixed that detail that was sort of hanging in space. So there I've got one of the views in here. Then we could add in another view from a different drawing. Let's choose place views. And I'll choose the dash B drawing this time. And then choose open. And then select the views to be added. Maybe I'm going to grab this view. OK. Select a free point on the drawing. And then select where we want it to be on this one. And it pops it in there. And then I can choose done return. If I go to the drawing tree, hey, we've got two different overlays in here. Now, be aware that these different views are view only. You can't make any changes to it. And so it was just this idea, I don't know, maybe you wanted to make a master drawing from a bunch of different views from multiple different drawings. This is one way that you could bring it into the drawing in order to be able to see those different views. But you can't manipulate them. You can't do anything with it. You can't detail them. You can't add any other information. So again, that was just the other use case that was pushed for drawing overlays. So again, not really that useful in my opinion. Let me go back to the actual other drawing. If you go to the review tab, there is a command to get a difference report. And I'll show you how to use that in a different video.